Hello diary. Yes, I'm just recording the sound on my video camera, so it's a bit distorted, so I do apologize. I'm gonna do some narration in a minute. But this is another day. So um, I've actually got John's hand drawn in there. I will explain that in a little bit more detail when the sound gets a little bit more cl cl clarified. Clarified? Clear. Whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so um, let's just jump into it. Oh, so I'm just going to get my palette sorted out here. As you know, I pre-recorded this and I'm doing a bit of an edit as well. And um, just it's just a lot easier for me to be able to just narrate these things rather than try and talk through the process. So I'm putting some water into my um, my bowls there, which I use. Um, I'm going to be coming on to the waistcoat. There we go. Uh, just building up the highlights, really. Um, and it's just a matter of watching the... Um, looking at your reference photos and, and, and knowing where these shadows and mid-tones are just playing around with a couple of different tones of paint um, and this process is the same throughout the whole painting really it's just a matter of shadows highlights and mid-tones that's all a painting is really it's just it's just different shades of paint or different tones of paint which will give you the effects and uh, you can see what i'm doing now on the ruffle of the um of the um, ruffle of the uh, sleeve there well, he's got his hand um, into his waistcoat and into his jacket like a bit like Nelson as you can see I've got three uh, separate types of pictures um, uh, on the um, easel uh, I've got one of um, which is an A4 and the other one is blown up to size in fact and um, that's what I use as uh, as reference. Got a little bit of little bit of difference there in the face. Um, it's a it's a little bit narrower, I think. I need a, I need to puff him out a bit, but I'm okay with that. As far as I'm concerned, this is a pretty good um, pretty good painting so far. I'm really pleased with it. So I was talking to Jason the other day, and um, hopefully this will go out um, uh, after we've introduced Grandpa Joe and Smudge. And talking about Grandpa Joe, I'm wondering if he's actually here so he can give us a bit more advice on this painting. And um, I'll just go and see if I can find him. Hello, hello, Groha Joe here. Groha Joe is here. He is in the building. Yay! Hello, Grandpa Joe. Hello, Clyde. And how are you doing on this painting today? It looks like you're doing really good, in fact. Yes, you're not doing too bad. Anyway, we had a uh, comment of someone on the YouTube channel the other day. Uh, I think it's on your iPhone. On my iPhone. Yes. There we go. Can you read that for me? Uh, this is from uh, John Blatt. Uh It couldn't have been a worse name, is it? Bat. It's John Bat. That's what I said. John Bat. According to Wikipedia, Vice Admiral Robert Flanagan was the son of Naval Officer One John Flanagan. That's what we're doing now. Yes, John Flanagan. Yes. Uh, or the um. So I would venture to say that he is wearing a Royal Navy uniform coat. I think he is too, yes. So um, have you been doing any painting recently, Grandpa Joe? Well, I've been doing as much as you've been doing. <laughs> That's certainly true. Yeah. So um, you've got an itchy nose. You know, my, my moustache get, gets a bit... I guess in I guess I guess in rock I guess in my lips it. There you go. There you go. That's better. Okay. So uh, looking at you. Oh, you're on the phone now. Why are you on the phone when you're trying to paint? Well, I don't have to talk when I'm painting. So looking at the uh, the waistcoat now, Clive is actually putting in some shadows around the white and developing some tonal differences between the white and the shadows. As you can see quite plainly 
during the uh, cuff. Ah, cuff. That's what I was looking for. Cuff. Not shirt. No, it's, it's a cuff. At the bottom of your hand, where your shirt hits, it's a cuff. Oh, it's a cuff. Yes, yeah, it's a cuff. So, um, I'm putting in some detail now with the, um, the, 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 the yellow. I'm using a little bit of yellow ochre and uh, a little bit of yellow as well to, to give it a little bit of dimension um, on, on his cuff. Ah, now you got it right, Cly. It's his cuff. Yellow ochre and yellow. Yeah, but it was a gold, it was like a gold braiding on these jackets. I presume so, because I think being a naval officer, um, then he would have had that type of jacket. And obviously he did, because he wouldn't be wearing it. <laughs> You're getting a bit confused now. Are you trying to talk with two people? No, I, I, I thought, what do you mean trying to talk with two people? I know it's quite difficult sometimes, thinking and looking at the video monitor and talking to me as well. <laughs> It's quite a funny character, old Grandpa Joe. And um, anyway, enough of that, Grandpa Joe. Let's concentrate more on this actual um, pit painting that we're doing now. We're, we're, I'm putting in some final detail um, around the um, the braiding on the jacket. And um, what is, I, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to increase this a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of glazing medium on that as we finish it. I've got to make sure that uh, this jacket um, is as accurate as I can possibly get it. I've got, got a few issues with the bottom of the um, the shirt there because it's it hasn't got a... Um, it doesn't look... It, it's looking too flat, in fact. Uh, I managed to get the hand in place. Yeah, you've done a really good job on that, didn't you? How did you manage to do that? Well, basically what I did was I did the same as I did with the face. And I copied his hand with the tracing paper. And then I just traced that back on to the canvas. Um, and that just made life a lot easier than trying to do it freestyle. It's a quite a good ingenious uh, invention, uh, tracing. Move over. Move, move over. I'm going to get in shot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, it, 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 is it cheating? No, it's not cheating. It's definitely not cheating because if uh, a lot of master artists used to use that technique, tracing, uh, as you as you said many times in your other videos, that uh, they used to be called cartooning. Cartooning, yes, not like a cartoon that you would see on the telly, but more like a cartoon that they would use as a tracing. Yeah, and, um, and I think that's a pretty good idea, in fact. Um, I quite like talking to you, Grandpa Joe. It's it's a lot better than talking to Jason. I know he can be quite boring sometimes. <laughs> he can be quite boring, but he's a bit fun as well. And I think that's why we like him is um, because of his sense of humour. And uh, I thought I'd bring you into the, the into this um, diary today because I just wanted to explain that um, art can be fun for children as well. And um, I'm hoping that Grandpa Joe can be doing some lessons quite shortly uh, for the children. Well, I would really like that. I think it's fun to in 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 involve the children into artwork. Brings a lot of fun and joy into the family environment. It does bring a lot of fun and joy into the family environment. Anyway, Grandpa Joe, look, I'm going to have to put you down now. It's raining quite hard out there. I can hear the rain hitting the roof. Yes, I know. It's quite loud. I'm hoping that um, it doesn't come through on the on the audio too badly yes Wales is a wet place to live it is so look I'm gonna I'm gonna put you put you down now if you want to go down and go back into your box don't tell everybody you live in a box <laughs> but you do live in a box it's quite nice in there isn't it I give you a pillow and everything I know you're really good to an old gent <laughs> thank you very much okay so we've had a bit of fun on this um on this diary today and I think this um it's fun to share that um anyway let's get let's get in let's get into the um let's get into the painting in a bit more detail now because um i think i think we I think it's time to be serious okay so i'm gonna go now okay then grandpa joe bye 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 oh, yeah he's gone <laughs> all right so yeah grandpa joe i'm hoping is going to make some um paintings for us um for the children um and and i think it's a, a fun thing to introduce uh, children to art because um it gives them years and years of pleasure anyway going back and let's have let's do something serious for the moment now i'm bringing in the um 
the actual detail now to the socks uh, of John. Um, and as you can see, uh, when I put the dark down, I've actually put a bit of highlight as well uh, to represent some folds in that in, in those socks. And I'm going to continue to do that on onto the foot part as well in a second. And um, yeah, I think Jason and I have been having a bit of fun in the studio, um, especially with uh, this particular challenge and with others as well. So um, he's got Smudge and I got Grandpa Joe, and hopefully between us that we're going to be doing some fantastic lessons um, shortly um, for the beginners as well as the youngsters. Well, you can see what I'm doing there. I'm, I'm, I'm again, I'm building those folds in. <coughs> Excuse me. Putting a bit of highlight on the sock just to give the depth and dimension against the uh, background. Um, just looking exactly where I am on on this particular um, video, we've got got a, we've got about another five ten minutes to go, I think. So not too and too bad. Um, and I said it's just a constant build of um, of white. So I want to thank you for joining me on this lesson. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to continue building up uh, the socks and maybe doing a bit more on the waistcoat. Um, I'm going to be working on the ground behind John's foot that is actually lying on the bank. And I'm going to put some details in the grass there. And I'm going to be using um, a script lining brush um, and a very thin paint, um, which I've thinned out. Um, I'm going to put some grass in there. I need to build texture on this grass area, very similar to what I've done just by the dog's head there, as you can see. Um, so hopefully um, we will work on this and get this completed. And I will, I'll leave you with a bit of music and I will see you shortly. <laughs> 